morning everybody chad out the farms it's moving day it's moving day it's moving day it's move in day get it whoa, whoa, whoa. what the heck is that cool huh and it's uh 10 till 7. i'm out here pretty early this morning uh, by the way if you're new here welcome and howdy if you're old here welcome and howdy what i mean by moving day is my wife and i bought this property Oh man, what's, what is today? Hang on. Today's the 20th. The 20th. I, no, I think we, did we close a year ago? I'll look, I'll, I'll figure that out before we, before we end this video, I'll tell you if we did this a year ago, but yeah, we've got 20 acres in Northeast Oklahoma and man, isn't it, isn't it gorgeous? But yeah, we've got an RV for my wife and I and our two youngest boys, four and seven, Adler and Carter, almost four. Adler's turning four June 5th. And they will be also, we're finishing this cabin out for our 14 year old. And then this, which we'll go look at later, just arrived yesterday from our buddy, Matt Ross. He's the guy that we also got the coop and the greenhouse from. And yeah, I'll tell you more about Matt one of these days. Um, yeah. He's not the guy that builds these, but he's the guy that hooked up sub with the Mennonite family that does build them. And man, they're just, they're awesome buildings. And you guys know what we, if you're, if you're old here, you know what we went through to get another cabin that didn't work out. But anyway, yeah, today is moving day. I cannot believe it. It may not look like much. Well, yeah, it does. I know it does. Um, when we bought this place and you stood right here, first off, the base rock ended right here. Like there was no, there was no driveway. And as a wedding gift, that's CJ. As a wedding gift, almost a year ago, we, or you guys rocked this driveway for us. And that was awesome, super cool. Can't thank you guys enough because yesterday, just getting this building in here and the rain, I mean, pouring rain was really no issue um until he unloaded and tried to drive out but it was no big deal they had a big 18 wheeler tractor trailer thing and i hooked my tractor up to it with a chain and just gave him a little oomph and we got him out but don't worry those are just peacocks nobody's dying um but yeah man a lot of a lot of reminiscing today this is going to be interesting um Last night was our last night in our home in town. Um, I've only been living there a year and a half. You know, married my wife, my boys and I moved in um, with, with Carter. So we've got three boys between the two of us. Um, but it's gonna be pretty rough, you know. We're not, we don't have to be out of the house until May 31st, but Ray has been there for seven years and that's where she has raised Carter and uh you know that's all they've known uh, that's the only house Carter remembers the only house he will remember other than the farm just super cool but yeah it's just gonna be a crazy day because like this was my this was my dream my entire life and I found this land through a subscriber one of you all and uh I can't thank you guys enough we'll, we'll never be able to thank you enough <laughs> I actually dismissed it. I dismissed this land because it was 28.5 miles from my parents. I was like, actually not from my parents, but from like a focal point in my, in my hometown in Joplin. I dismissed it at first. I was like, ah, you're crazy, man. It's via email. Um, I was like, you're crazy, man. I don't, I don't want to move that far. I'm also looking for more land. Um, I'm like, Pat, what's up, buddy? What you think, man? This is Patrick. He's a longhorn bull. And he is a beauty. Pardon his rear end. He's clean. It's just when all this fresh grass comes up and they get off the grain and the cubes and for him, get off the, uh, that's CJ. When they get off the milk, it takes them a little while to figure out how much they should and shouldn't eat. This is Oreo. And this is Bruce. He's uh, gonna flirt with Oreo and we're not gonna film that because it's incredibly awkward. But Oreo seems to like him though. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Patrick, Tina, uh, that's Finn, that's Bunny, Tipsy, which is Patrick's mom. June and Frank are in the background. There's Badonkadonk. Bruce, dude, you're making it really weird. Sonny, how are you? And CJ, the resident hungry, hungry hippo. Lucy and Little Donk. Finn's a lover, though. He wants cubes, so he won't let me touch him, but once he gets cubes, once he gets cubes, we can talk to him more. Man, if you guys have been here since the start, this place I can't wait till my brother and dad see Bruce this place looked vastly different we brought in an 800 foot water line buried it myself rolled it out myself 2 inch poly I mean just insane I, I've never done anything like that before if you don't know that that two inch poly comes in 300 foot rolls and it weighs a lot a lot a lot um i mean the, the rolls themselves i'm six four the rolls themselves are like this tall and they make spools they make tools and things you can use to unroll them easy but that's silly who's got time for that <laughs> did it myself like dug the trench out the excavator rolled the line out it's not too bad, and I had I did have some help from you guys. Like many of you were like, "Hey, unroll it." Like you just saw that I'm here or something. You guys were like, "Hey, unroll that when it's hot. The sun will like bake it and help it flatten out a little bit, be a little more uh, malleable, pliable." This land was overgrown. It was very unkept. There was trash everywhere, um, and that's not from the previous owners. It's from the previous previous owners. The previous owners have become dear friends of ours and they're, um, yeah, they, they've reached out to us. They wanted a project and, you know, they, they wanted somebody to take on the project, I should say. And they wanted to see it made pretty. They wanted to see it made into someone's home and someone's dream, which is where Ray and I come in. I actually dismissed this property via email because it was too far from home and, uh, you know, yeah, then I met Ray, and we started talking, hanging out. The rest is history between us. Got engaged, got married, and then we looked up like, well, we didn't, not exactly in that order. We got engaged, closed on the land, then got married. But it, uh, yeah. Ray wound up, I had never, I'd never met Ray before when we found this land. When we were first offered this land, we'd never, I'd never met her before. I dismissed this because it was too far from home. And then God was like, I, I know what'll get Chad to buy that land that I opened the door for him to find. I'm going to send him a smoking hot future wife. That's what I'm going to do. And I was like, I mean, I, how could I say no? I mean, wait till you see Ray. I, I know, I know, I know. Ray wound up living 12 minutes from where we're standing. The love of my life, who I'd never met until I was 37? Yeah. And the land that God intended for us to raise our boys on wound up being... I mean, just, just think about that story, okay? I'd never met Ray before. I was dreaming of land. God said, hey, here's some land. I was like, ah, it's too far. I told, the, I, I told our friends, the people we bought it from, you know, it's just too far from home, blah, blah, blah. All the, all the reasons I thought I was making a good decision passing on this in my search for land. Thank you, cowboy. And then God was like, hey, I know what you want on top of land. I know that you want a family. I know that you've always wanted another little boy. Uh, a wife, someone to share this dream with. So here you go. And uh, what's up, buddy? Hi. This is Little Donk. He's the uh, guardian of the farm. Nothing, nothing gets past old buddy right here. 
He's been in a scuffle or two with some coyotes. Lost an ear. Lost half an ear. He had some nicks on him the other night, but they're healing up pretty good. He's running them off. Well, sorry. Okay, sorry. This Lucy, that's his girlfriend. I don't know that she likes him, but you work with what you got, right? <laughs> they're animals. They like each other. But yeah. See that? Uh, they call that a UST underground storage tank that is eight feet by 18 eight feet by 18 feet and at one point there were six of those out here and they were buried and that was one final one we found but yeah the dirt mounds out here before we had it leveled were high enough to cover that eight by 18 i mean that was buried we didn't even know it was out here we've redone the pond there's a septic tank a brand new septic tank from my friends at quapaw plumbing this is the RV. I know what you're thinking. The animals are waiting on cubes, but I actually ran out yesterday. I need to go get some, but the feed store doesn't open until 8 a.m., uh, which is no big deal. I should have went yesterday, but we were busy moving some stuff and getting this one. This is our biggest labor of love, our pond. I believe it's actually a little bigger than an acre, and... It is amazing. We love this thing. Um, it's way down because we've got a trench cut where we need to put a culvert. See, there's a trench right there. There's actually one behind the culvert as well. And we need to put a culvert in the bottom of that box over there, bring the dirt level up over at least the V cut in that box. And then this can fill up. There's fish in here but i think it's just like a few perch that somehow managed to make it uh but not much there's quite a few turtles quite a few snakes already which i immediately i always wanted my own property with a pond that's what i wanted i grew up fishing a place called dawson's pond which my last name's doss our last name's doss but dawson's d-a-w-s-o-n-s was a family that lived up the street from us where I grew up and I mean, I learned to fish at that pond. I just, yeah. I cry more in my old age, old, <laughs> yeah, some of you like, you shut up. I don't like that word, but immediately I could hear you guys going, Chad, old, so. In my late thirties now, here in a week, I'll be 39. Um, or I should say, I'll be, it'll, you know, I'll be celebrating the ninth anniversary of my 30th birthday. Um, and I'm going to be living on land that we bought a year ago, raising some cows, raising three boys. And I tell you what, man. I couldn't be more grateful to you guys for being here. None of this would be possible without you. And, uh, you know, I've been way, way down in life and I've been way up. You guys have heard me say that before. We all have. Um, but I always had my parents to fall back on. And there were times in my life, even as an adult, with my boys that my parents were paying my rent just how amazing is this and i just i just want to thank you guys for being here that's what i want you to get out of this right here so you guys that tune in no matter what um you know good bad or ugly conversations comments i mean man i have a fun time um reading the comments and going through things and the banter with you guys and you know there's a lot of noise out there in the world there's a lot of people that want to tell you you're doing something and you know honestly i am focused on myself and my family and what 
God is telling us and telling us about our family and, um, you know, the people who want to critique you and tell you this, that, and the other, um, they're wanting to be where you are. They just haven't figured it out. And it's easier to tell you what you should be doing or what they would do than it is to actually go do it. That's why they tell you this and that and the other. In high school, I had a track coach and I'm not sure if he quoted somebody or I'm not sure if this is his quote, but I was, I was, you know, my dad and brothers can attest. I was fast. I was really fast. Six foot, 180, my senior year, 49 second, 400. And that's not a split. That's me running it, buddy. Um, that's fast. Minute 50, 800. Uh, 425, 426 mile. Um, still hold a shot put record. <laughs> I could run. Uh, I, I, I now look like I ate that kid. But, <laughs> but uh, that's what, uh, oh gosh, that's what 20, 20 years. <laughs> My track coach one time said, you don't have time in your race to look left or right and see what others are doing. Because if you do, you take your, you take your eyes off the prize. You take your eyes off of what God promised you. If you look left or right, don't lose your focus because someone else is distracting you. And when you think about that, think about it in like a hundred meter dash, you know, in a hundred meter dash, if you're not below 12 seconds, you're not going to win. There's, there's always going to be somebody below 12. You don't have time to look left or right in under 12 seconds. If you do, you will lose the race. That stuck with me. I don't know if he quoted somebody, but um, Coach Lewis, man. Um, I still see him every now and then. I, I attribute a lot of my track, um, what I went through for how hard I worked. And that was the first time that I understood how hard I was working was what was putting me where I was winning and things like that. And, you know, it's funny. I say the phrase, which is overused a lot of times, or some people think it is life is a marathon, not a sprint. This farm is a marathon, not a sprint. The pond, the moving out here, it's all a marathon, not a sprint. Life is life is life. And, uh, I don't feel old. I don't feel young, but I feel very, very wise and I appreciate every single day. Like something doesn't happen on one day that brings me down for a week. I don't, I don't have time for that. I've got three beautiful boys, a beautiful wife. We're all healthy. I, I can't, I, I, you know, how do you complain about this, man? How do you complain about it? We've got a beautiful cabin right here. We're finishing out. We've got a brand new RV. You know, there's people without homes. It sounds like... It sounds like they're screaming for help. Pardon the mess. That's... We're putting flooring in the... Uh, yeah, it's this is a construction site. Don't judge me. Or do. I don't care. It sounds like those peacocks are yelling for help, man. It's weird. To run a couple wires to this new shed over here. I appreciate you guys taking that journey down memory lane with me. I need to run some electric to the shed right here. And I'm not sure I'm going to put in a, like, I don't know if I want to do a sub panel or if I just want to run some wires and some conduit. So this is the cabin our boys are going to live in. And the utility box, that's the internet box, but the utility box is right inside there. And then we just need to run some wires right here. And don't worry, that's as level as, just just trust me, it's level. But here, I'll show you. Whoop. Yeah, this is a 12 by 22. And it's super sturdy, it's awesome. It's got the double, like, I think they call these like garden shed doors. I contemplated putting French doors in here. We may do that just for temperature control, but this is gonna be, we got a deep freezer going in here. We have actually two deep freezers, one refrigerator, and they'll be fine in here even before it's temperature controlled. Uh, the, the refrigerator, your deep freezers and stuff, they're made to handle the heat and things like that, but pretty cool. But I think I'm just gonna run some dedicated uh, plugins 
over to here and like just lay the 12 2 wire on the ground i might put some four by fours on it for a little bit and then we'll get some conduit and bury it my mom and dad and brother and sister-in-law at least four of them are coming down to help us move now it's not a huge move we're talking like two beds three dressers a lazy boy a fridge a freezer and a pew pew safe not a huge pew pew safe uh, so actually it'll all fit on my uh, 16 foot flatbed trailer so probably one trip um, but yeah i need to do that before they get here because when they get here we're immediately moving the freezer into there and it needs to be uh, we gotta be able to plug it in so we don't lose our beef because we got a steer in the freezer so guy that delivered these yesterday named raymond and raymond is a man i tipped him a little bit to make this level because i knew he could do a better job than i and this thing ain't going anywhere okay now it looks muddy it looks wet but yeah we have a uh we have a very very good sandstone rock base under the dirt under all this mud so literally this isn't going anywhere i mean it's 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 pretty cool like we were jumping around in it trying to make it rock and teeter and but he just does these all the time and he knew exactly what to do and you know this isn't permanent we're going to build a house out here someday so we didn't need it to be like a permanent foundation but your heaviest parts are in the corners and then we spanned a 16 no 12 foot six by six in three different spots so pretty cool but it kind of reminds me of like the old rock houses the barns that you find in the you know abandoned properties and stuff how it's sitting on rocks but when i say rocks those rocks right there holding that up some of those weigh like 100 pounds yeah so much to show you guys and tell you about but let me get started and we'll check back with you here in a little bit been about 30 minutes i pulled two wires this will be for the chest freezer because it's on its own breaker this will be for the mini chest freezer. It's literally like, I think it's like seven cubic feet. And then we have a refrigerator as well. So I think it'll be fine. We'll plug both of those in there. They don't draw very much. We can always run another one, but I'm kind of pressed for time this morning. And actually the, the mini fridge, and I say mini fridge, it's 13 cubic feet. And then we have a mini chest freezer that's seven cubic feet. And they're both currently plugged into breakers at the rental house we're moving out of that also have other stuff on them. So they don't draw that much. The GFCI, FRL, NOP, okay, I, I know. It's, these, these are not those. You, you, I hope you can sleep tonight, I will. Hardware store's closed, I'm pressed for time. This is what we're doing. We've all done way sketchier stuff, but just because I put it on Facebook and YouTube doesn't mean I wanna hear about it. Watch your knuckles. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Nope. Where do you want this? Um, I think, I, actually, I think I want it in the cabin. <laughs> well, let's go, Kyle. All right. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Where to, man? Uh, just straight back if you can. Just whatever's easier. Oh. That's a pallet. It's okay. Just wiggle it. Oh, boy. I think it looks good. Okay. Yeah. Everything else goes there. We're going to take that tractor and back that up to the queen. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Can we speed it up a little bit? Lunch around the corner. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's not sweating. You brought your credit card. I'm sweating. sweating. I've been standing over there for five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Five. One. Whoa! Stop. Holy cow. Is my feet? What? <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, she showed me. It stays, it stays. Hey, you broke it, man. Yeah, really? Yeah. Well, heck, I've already got one here. Might as well. <laughs> we'll give it a match. We'll do it All right, let's see. Ready? That's got 500 pounds of beef in it. <laughs> yeah, nothing. That's nothing. Okay, we wanna... Just put it on the ground and scoot it, man. Yeah, pretty steep angle. This truck is 18 feet off the ground. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, we're just raw. Yeah. <laughs> then I need to ask. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Just Let me know it. when, Kyle. When? Thanks. I, I measure with my eyeballs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We trust those things. All right, so. I had LASIK. I can measure. Now. They, usually they'll get up really quick and we'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, you ready for your first night in the RV? I think so. Yeah. Case, you ready for your first night in the cabin? I've been ready. You've been ready? Oh, yeah. Since we woke you up at 10 this morning? <laughs> it was 9. Yeah. Oh, look who. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, put, hide the hardware. No, it's oh, their, sorry. These are the tools. Those are, those are uh, guns for administering medicine. Yeah. <laughs> Freedom medicine. They're dark guns. The yes. <laughs> Yeah, they all got orange tips Water and barrels. Yeah. yeah. This video, it was kind of all over the place. Uh, I walked and talked and preached this morning. I hope people are still watching at this point because you know how that goes and <laughs> yeah. how it gets. Well, when you find your dream farm and your dream wife and dream family and stuff, it just gets, starts to get to you. You know, the old, I'm getting ready to celebrate the ninth anniversary of my 30th birthday, and I'm an emotional guy now. I'm just more and more emotional. I think I need I some. I know you are. Uh, but. Dude, you're old. I mean, you're wise. Oh, you're wise. I know. I know. I know. I remember whenever I first met him, he had a pacifier in his mouth all the time. He did. He did. <laughs> all the time. It was a couple years ago. I got off it finally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had to explain to Shannon what Kyle's binky was. <laughs> Very important. But just relax this evening. We've still got a lot of work ahead of us. But like I said, there's, there's people with way, way less than, than we have. And I'm not gonna complain. We're not complaining. We just, there's a lot of work to do, but we welcome it and that's gonna be okay. And huge shout out to Kyle and Shannon and my mom and dad and our youngest brother, Matt, who texted us at noon and apologized <laughs> for not making it. You're welcome, buddy. Um, but no, guys, Matt worked 40 hours a week, actually probably more. So I texted him last night and I said, hey man, if you get it here, just come down and hang out. If you don't, don't worry about it. Cause you, you know, when you work 40 hours a week and stuff like that, you got to decompress on the weekends. You got to, and everything we took too also fit on one 16 foot trailer and, and, and your truck bed, bed. A couple truck beds. Beds. the truck bed, but it wasn't like we moved tons of stuff. So we didn't have to go back and move it felt back. like tons. We didn't We only, I didn't have to do anything <laughs> except <laughs> sit on the tractor. The total weight was over. Except sit on the tractor, but no, it was good. Good. Chad hurts himself on purpose. I do. The last time we moved, I'd hurt my right arm. So here we are. I remember. I know. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. But anyway, still waiting on the results of the MRI. <laughs> <laughs> no, miraculous. No, you're not. Tell the people. It's a partial tear. But the doctor that we want and know that did this arm hasn't seen the MRI yet. So once he sees it, then we'll determine what's needed or whatnot. And that's all I want to say at this point. Okay. So anyway. We don't yeah. run them out, right? <laughs> lift, lift with lift with your legs, not your back or your arms. Or make your brother and dad do it. Or make There's your brother and dad do it. But, 90, but there people was, now that can help keep me accountable. You accountable. Yeah, you accountable. You need more than ninety. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys go here, but yeah, please go tell Kyle and Shannon howdy. K and S get out. Go tell my mom and dad howdy. Grandpa Adler Farms. So I link them all down below in every video, uh, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, but. Anyway, I think that's it. Shannon's wrapping up. Is that going to go out tonight? Yeah. Okay. So whether you see this video or theirs first, we will link the video in the comments. Okay. Like you'll be able to go see it. So easy way to find them. So do you know how to do that? Chad will show me. We'll make it work. <laughs> <laughs> she, she knows how to do it. But with that said, y'all be good. Don't work too hard. Don't make it weird.
God bless. Gooses. Gooses. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>